Hello gamers, it's Softkitty99 and today we're back for chapter 5 of the Night Fae campaign, Night Warrior's Curse, and this will be part 3 and we're turning in a secret never spoken. Whew, this page it's seen sights no one should ever see. You have no idea how tempted I am to open this and read it. Let's hurry up and create this counter curse. Yes, if you read it, Never you ruin it and then we'll need to get a new one. <laughs> right, so we've got two more quests that we need to complete to get the ingredients to make the counter curse to save Catherine. Uh, so we need to do a sacrifice of anima which means go and fight a lot of spriggans and collect their anima and then we also need to go and see Alex Straza in the Twilight Highlands for a token of lost love. So I think we'll go and do these spriggans first and Tiernax was going to come and help us beat up the spriggans to get their anima. Moonbury said he, she thought it was going to be very therapeutic for him to take out all his anger and frustration on the Spriggans. So we said we'd take him along. So it's a little bit of a fly, but it's not too bad. The whole zone is relatively accessible from the centre tree, so it's not too far. There's Tiernax coming to help us. Right, here we are, we're in the right area now. So we just need to beat up the Spriggans for their mischief-touched anima. You can reach a few that are up on the tree, which you couldn't do with pink fly, so let's take those guys out while we're here. Right, let's just jump down. We need your anima, you guys are causing mischief. We're here to stop you. And we now have 11 mischief touched anima for our quest. Since it was a spriggan that cursed Catherine, I think it's quite um, sensible that we get the anima to cure him from the spriggan, isn't it? Your leader got you into this mess. Or at least one of your leaders got you into this mess. Oh, Catherine got a weird spell on him there. He went all red and black, didn't he? Oh, yes, maybe we shouldn't have pulled the uh, spriggan that was riding the stag, because these stags are the elites and they hit hard. Yes, look at why. See my health nosedive there? The guy just stole the herb, so we probably won't get the herb by the time the fight's over at Lift East Point. Mm -hmm. yes. That's it, too. And actually, he's tanking for me, so I'm not taking all the damage. If I was taking all the damage off that guy, I'd probably die, actually. Just be careful with that. Come on, Tia, and actually doing an awesome job there for me. Brilliant. see what we've got now. Oh, there we go. We've got all the anima that we needed. Oh, that was much easier than I expected it to be. Awesome. Very nice. Uh, right, so we can turn that in. Or we can try and go to the Twilight Highlands. Hmm. I may just turn it in, actually, and then go to Twilight Highlands so that we're only keeping the active quests that we need to. So if we're going to go to Twilight Highlands, what, which is the best route? So we could Hearthstone to Oribos and jump through the portal there and then jump through a portal into the Twilight Islands and fly it out. And if your Oribos Hearthstone's off, uh, on cooldown, you could probably go via Dalaran and then jump through the portals to jump through the Twilight portal. 
in your capital city that way, couldn't you? What do we have here? Have you handled those spriggans yet? Indeed we have. Tiernax did a great job as a tank for me. A sacrifice of anima. Ha! That will teach those spriggans. You mess with the mist runner, you get the magical horn. Now we have the anima we need, and conveniently it's already attuned to the bad attitude of the one who cast the curse. See, there was reason to her sending this specifically after the Spriggans, because the Spriggan cursed them. Spriggan Anima is already attuned to help us. Ah, oh, see? She was so thinking she it through. Good girl. So, now we need to go for the token of lost love. We need to go to the Twilight Highlands. So, which route shall we use? I think we'll um, go through Oribos, or... Yeah, let's go through Oribos. I think that's going to be the quicker route to get there. But it's a little bit fiddly, actually, to get to the Twilight Islands, anyway. And if you bypass the Cataclysm expansion when you were levelling, you'll now have to um, you have fly further, I think. Adventure. Let's um, get rid of a bit of junk while we're going past a vendor. A little buff thing, we'll probably I use that. There we go, we use the buff item we see there. So it's, it gives you that, like, it's like a thorns effect if you aren't a druid. So it can be useful, especially if you've got a lot of people attacking you because they take damage when they attack you. So it's an interesting little buff to use if you're not a druid because druids can put thorns anyway. So. So if we take this portal and then we leave the portal room because the portals for Twilight Highlands are still out on the world map itself in the capital cities. So it's a little bit of a finicky one. I'm not quite sure why they didn't add the cataclysm portals into the... Why didn't they add them in here, you see? Because I'm sure it would have been easy enough to just make it a little bit longer, you see. I'm sure they could have just extended it a little bit and then added all the portals in here. I mean, we've still got one gap over here, haven't we? There, look, that place there, that's an empty gap. So they could have just pushed it out a little bit further and added more, couldn't they? Because there's no way to get close to it other than going out on the world map, you see, so... Yeah, I don't know why they didn't add it into here. I, that doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, they could have added them in here, in this front section as well. But no, we have to go outside and then um, that little shrine area at the side of the castle is where the portals are for these are still there, so let's fly. And then we'll take the portal into the Twilight Highlands and then we can manually fly all... Do you know what, I think we might take the flight path because the Vermilion Redoubt is quite a long way, so we might take the uh, actual already built in one. We won't need to go a bit more around. It's near where the balloon is, look on the side of the castle. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so Twilight Highlands is the purpley one. There we go, the purpley one. At the castle. Yes, yeah, it's all the way at the opposite end of the zone, so it's still a long way to travel. So I think we'll take the actual... Uh, what was that flight path? How close does the flight path go, actually? I think we will take one, just to see how close we... Oops, didn't change. Yeah, there is one actually at the Vermilion Redoubt. So yeah, it's probably easier to take the flight path because it's quite a long way to travel. If you're uh, trying to manually fly, it's probably simpler to take the flight path. I do like reusing old world areas for quests and things, but it's, it seems kind of sad to just come back for one little quest and then be gone again. So much open world that we're not using. Such a shame common problem for MMOs though, isn't it? You need new real estate to put new quests and things in, but then people tend not to go back.
maybe one day they'll extend the world quest theme into lots of the old zones as well give us a little bit more variety then of course we might have a problem with all the travelling but it might be fun to spend a bit of time doing that if you've got a little bit of extra time for playing Seems a shame though for it all to just sit empty and not used. Yeah, it's a really long way to fly, isn't it? And I think it's just a fetch quest because she needs to give us a token of love, so I think we basically spend more time travelling than actually doing the quest. nice to see the old area again but it just seems a shame that we're just going to travel across it and then go leave again. There's the redoubt where the tree is, we can see it now. In contrast to all the dark, dreary, destroyed areas, suddenly we've got this nice, bright, pretty, healthy area. It's kind of cool. I love the transitions in this zone. Lady Alex Traza, will you grant me an audience? Could you maybe give me something that means a lot to you? <laughs> Seems a little bit forward, doesn't it, to ask for something uh, important. But her sister is the one who asked. Hello, Lady Alex Traza, your sister, Sarah, is now in Ardenweald um, with the Night Winter Queen. And uh, she sent us to uh, ask you for something that you probably don't want to let go of. Um, I hope you don't mind. We need to be closer. We need to be closer. I think we need to be lower down, not closer. The balance must be maintained. Hello, Druid. What brings you here? Explain the situation to Alex Straza and request a token of lost Embrace love. Miss Sarah. It brightens my heart to know her death was not an end, but a new beginning. Oh, good. She's happy. We were sisters, hatched from the same clutch, inseparable since birth. Yeah, sorry you can't get the back. of Cory Alstros, whom I loved dearly, but I loved none more than her. Aww. She gave me a gift when we first became aspects take it with you and save your friend oh are you sure you want to part with that i feel mean for taking and away champion, something so important please tell my sister that she is sorely missed oh, i will remember and deeply loved oh that's so sweet i'm so sad because they don't get to see each other again but we get to see them both well, that's kind of sad, isn't it? We get to see both of them and she can't see her sister. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, see, we spent a lot more time travelling than we did doing the quest. That's kind of sad, too. And now, of course, we can't go back to Arbos, so we're going to have to use the Dalaran route now to get back. So you're going to have to use the Dalaran route anyway. So. Right, so we go to Dalaran, then we jump through the portal back to the portal room so that we can then get back to Oribos and then fly back to Ardenweald. See, we're spending so much more time travelling than doing the quest. It's kind of sad, actually. Though I do like to see these in the old world, but yeah, it does take a long time to travel to them. So yeah, if we had a world quest in the other areas, it would... And you could pick which areas you did them in, maybe. Yeah, if that would have to be the way you did it, wouldn't it? If we just do X number of world quests as your daily quest and then you just pick which zone to go and do it in. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of kind of difficult to do it that way, isn't it? Yeah. Right, there's the Oribus portal. Right, that's the one we want. Don't 
then we need to go inside and upstairs and jump on if you like that. Yeah, there isn't a quicker way to do it. No. Right, let's go inside. So we're just going to be almost 180 degrees around the side. There he is. And then fly Welcome to the tree. Part of the forest. There we go. Yes, I think we spent much more time travelling in today's episode than doing anything else. that this curse cure works here otherwise we're going to have a part four <laughs> no I'm sure this is going to be the end here where we turn this in and then we'll be able to move on to chapter five in the next thing Wait, did I just say chapter 5? We're doing chapter 5. I mean, moving on to chapter 6 in the next thing. <laughs> All right. Let's save Catherine. Then hopefully two nights will tell us everything he knows about trying to save the right warrior and what went wrong for them when they tried to save him. And then maybe we'll have enough info to think about what we can do for Tyrande. At least that's the hope and that's the plan we're sticking with. Okay, we had a little disconnect there where we landed. Luckily we don't get very many of those. Right, so we need to turn into Lady Moonberry and see if this counter curse works on Cadrin, which I really, really hope it does. Oh, no, we need to turn into Yves Sarah. Oh, yes, of course, with the lost love thing I for am her. bound to both the dream and the moonless night. A token of lost love. My sister loves with all her heart. Yeah, and it was your token that she sent us. This figurine. I have not seen it since. I gave this to her when we first became aspects. Our duties would draw us apart for the first time in our lives. To know that she has kept it all this time. You Sarah wipes her eyes. We will put it to good use. Oh, so that makes her happy and sad at the same time. I think it's sad that we can see both sisters and they can't see each other. But yeah, oh, that's that made her feel very touched that that was the token that got sent back. The oh, that's nice. Must be preserved. Oh, that's the fetch lessons from the Moor Quest. We'll look at that later. Um, Lady Moonberry, let's see if this works. I hope it does. So nice to see you. Mending a broken heart. Oh no. Heart, heart. Oh, instead of heart as in the one in your chest, it's heart as in a dear. Oh no. <gasps> Terrible puns, people. Mending a broken heart. We have all the reagents for the counter curse. Hurry up and cast it before Cadrin's soul is lost and Tiernax refuses to help you and Tyrande is doomed to die horribly in the moor and everyone is sad. But no pressure. Perform the counter curse and we will receive a cosmetic back. That's the branches one. The equine soul. Oh, that um that's one of the um shapeshift forms, isn't it? Okay everyone, let's break 
this curse. Okay, and we've got a little action bar. Hope this works, Cadrin. Oh, we're all casting it onto him. What? It's not purple anymore. You were cursed, my friend. Thank alone it worked. Yay, he saved. Were it not for your aid, Cadrin's soul would have been lost forever. I I can do no less than offer my aid in return. Yay, he's gonna help us. And they're both spying again. Yay! So we get all of our rewards. Not if the night warrior's fate can be averted. But I will do all that I can to aid you. Thank you, Thank that's you all we ask. Max. And you, Kadarin. You are fortunate to have each other. Yes. Uh, we are. Yeah, they are. And then we've uh, completed chapter five. Yes. But now we have the Equin Soul quest. The Equin Soul is free spirited and loyal. The shape of a horned horse will be yours to call upon. Bring the Equin Soul to the heart of the forest. So this is the um, yeah, this is the deer form, isn't it, of the shapeshift. Where's it? Oh, there she is. Oh, we don't have to go very far there for that at all. I listen to the woods. Lady Moon, memory of shapes. Equine soul, a majestic shape for certain. It is now Me yours, should you wish to call here. upon it. Right, so how does this work? So the uh, one you get right at the beginning is the fox one. That's the Welcome one we've got now. Forest. Oh, we talk to her and Our then we can change it. Endure. Okay. So we have Ooh. Right, we have to dismiss it, I think. And then we're going to have to wait for the soul shape to cool down, and then we can try the new fall. And we can have, take a look at the cosmetic back piece we got. You see, it's the branches that in like a swirly pattern, like the trees have got. That's quite pretty, actually. Yeah, it does blend into our... Um, order hall set as well so it all matches very nicely it's like little butterfly wings but in branch shape isn't it yeah that's quite pretty actually that bag is cool. if you put the um, branches on your weapon disappears so if you don't like having your weapon on your back something like that would be quite a good one so we're just waiting for the shape soul shape to cool down so we can take a look at the new form we've got for that and then that will be the end of the episode but I'd just like to take a look at it now I'm assuming it's a stag because those are the guys we've been helping so it makes sense if it is isn't it and there we go let's take a look He became the pose. Oh, I like the pose, that was kind of cool. Yeah, that's nice, I like it. So they, you can collect more different shapes as well. I haven't really looked into where you get the rest of them, but uh, yeah, they're all quite... Th these two that we've got so far by doing the questing, they're both really pretty. Nice. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!